inflation has been uh, the target of, uh, of the central bank policies since the beginning of the crisis, but has been a, a target difficult to reach, to achieve. So Andrea, can you please tell me how interest rates have been affected by the US election? Well, I think that the US election will be a turning point if uh, three things uh, stay, stay true, will be confirmed. The first is about politics. I think that the politics are trying to uh, bring back uh, the leading in the economics. And so they are trying to shape the future of the economy. Uh, with a Brexit, but now more stronger with a, with a US election, it seems that they are trying to use some kind of old fashioned way, uh, uh, st uh, fiscal stimulus, uh, protectionism and nationalism. On the other side, we see that they are trying to bring back uh, the, the things, the, 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 the shape of the economy from uh, the central banks and the economists. So the first is politics. The second is the stimulus, fiscal stimulus. That is something that we were expecting since last year. But it's coming in a strange situation because uh, the US are not uh, in a recession yet. And also it sit on a big stock of debt. So it's not so easy. On the other side, monetary policies have run out of option. The third thing uh, I think that is uh, important to remember is inflation, because from uh, protectionism, uh, tight job market and looser regulation, we can expect to have an outbreak of inflation. Uh, we know that we can expect to have uh, some tighter monetary policies, but on the other side, the fiscal stimulus is a big inflationary threat. So these three things for me are obviously against fixed income. And uh, we must start to cope, uh, we as a fixed asset manager, we must start to cope with uh, a new environment that uh, will link uh, the positive stimulus uh, not anymore to lower yields and capital gains, instead with higher yields and the risk of capital loss. If you want to think something similar, we can uh, think about 2013, when uh, the taper tantrum means that uh, when we only start to talk about the Fed that could stop to buy treasury, the yield for the 10-year uh, uh, note in the US went from 1.6 to 3%. That is a big movement. And it was uh, just, uh, just talking about a stop of buying. Clearly, if we are talking about something totally different, uh, fiscal stimulus and uh, uh, protectionism, we can expect to have a much higher volatility and much higher yields. I do not expect uh, on the long term to have a bear market on the bonds, only because we must warn that these three things are very dangerous if misguided. I mean, politics, fiscal expansion and inflation are something that, if not guided very well, can have a much worse impact on the economy. So under this scenario, could inflation be the subject of investment? Obviously, yes. I think that uh, inflation should be an uh, investment uh, subject in any case. I mean, uh, it should be part of a diversified portfolio, and in particular if uh, it's a fixed income portfolio. In this case, uh, uh, we must uh, admit that inflation has been uh, the target of, uh, of the central bank policies since the beginning of the crisis but has been a, a target difficult to reach, to achieve. Um, and so it has been uh, something very difficult to insert uh, in uh, an investment policy. Nonetheless, we can see that uh, even before the US election, uh, there has been uh, some sign that inflation can, be, can come back and can be an important uh, part of uh, the next uh, investment uh, uh, objective for uh, the US. Uh, we have uh, the, a tighter job market, we have uh, um, the uh, margins of corporates that uh, were shrinking, an increasing of, uh, the, um, of the cost of services, and also the end of the, 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 the fall of the commodity prices. So the basis effect could start to come back again pro-inflation. 
After the US election, we can expect further inflation-related policies like protectionism and fiscal stimulus. Overall, this brings us to a inflationary friendly uh, environment, mostly in US. So we expect to have more uh, investment in inflation related uh, securities in US, much less in Europe. And uh, we are still waiting for some answer from the inflationary environment in Japan. Uh, well, the securities that we suggest uh, to uh, exploit the uh, inflation risk and the inflation investment is for a fixed income portfolio is for sure the inflation linked bonds that we actually use in the in our uh, in our funds um, the only thing is uh, that we must pay uh, attention to the duration risk of these instruments uh, more even more in a scenario of raising yields because uh, clearly they are a fixed income products and the duration risk and the duration of these products must be actively managed well, thank you so much for taking thank the you. time to speak with us. Thank you.